Hey guys, welcome to Choose Your Own Path. So, this is going to be the part four video. Hopefully I have enough time, because you only have so much room um, for a beginner YouTuber to, uh, I guess like, you can put over 20 minutes or something like that, or 15 minutes, whatever it is. Like my last video was about 20 minutes, too much yakking like usual. Um, Though there's a lot of editing going on, like the last video was like over an hour and 45 minutes that I just constantly do stuff. Now you notice in my videos, there's a lot of cutting where you don't see me doing the full project. Now, the reason for that would be just, it would take me like 20 minutes to cut something and you're, you're not really, I don't think you'd be learning off of that. You'd have to be beside me to do this. And of course, having that much time put on you it's not gonna happen so you know I apologize for all the cuts that go on but I'm just hoping that you see um, like the productivity that goes on you know from, from the beginning of what I'm starting off with to the ending um, like I said if I can do it, you can do it you're just looking at my work um, that's all I can tell you so today on our show and it's our show because you I and everybody else that watches it um, we are gonna continue with our owl stick walking stick so what I did was I just burnt in my logo choose your own path and uh, we have the owl ready to go we're gonna start off with the owl we are using our wicked colors so for the owl there'll be a full-blown white and then there'll be some brown, some yellow, and some black. So the biggest thing is to make sure they're mixed. Now, I said there was a little something different going on. Let me tell you a little story and we'll try to make it quick because I'm already going two minutes here, you know? Jack and lack, just too much yakking for nothing. The other day on Facebook Marketplace, I was just browsing through and all of a sudden a airbrush system came up and uh, I saw the price. And I thought, I've never heard of this guy, this, this, this airbrush, this brand before. The guy wanted $120 for this airbrush. So I contacted him. And he said, yeah, he says, it's for sale. You know, you want it. And I said, well, I got a Pashi and an Iwata. But I always wanted something else, blah, blah, blah. Well, check it out. He brought me this. Now... This is called a best, A-B-E-S-T. It's, uh, I don't even know where it's from. It's from China or something, or maybe, I don't know. He bought it online. The gentleman bought it for one project. So this was, this is brand new. He used it once and everything's, I can tell you it's brand new because there's no wear to it. There's, even the gun is super clean. The pen. I've never seen this before. He showed me his receipt. He paid $300 for this thing, used it once. I gave him 120 bucks for it and he was happy. That's what he was asking. Probably could have got it a bit for a better price. <laughs> Maybe. But check this thing out. I have never seen this. Like this airflow thing is there. So I'm assuming that's an extra airflow. Awesome. I'm going to put you guys down. Second of all, on my airbrush, um, it's, it's an Iwata, right? So it's all m muscle memory for where you're going. This has, um, like this little round screwy thing determines how much pressure I want to come in and out. So, um, I guess if it's a small spray and I pull forward back as fast as I can, I'm always going to get a small spray. If I open it up, I'll get the big spray. I don't know. This is the first time we're going to try it, guys. So I got it on there pretty tight. Um, I've seen these before. Now, I'm, again, I am not familiar with this brush at all. So, obviously, this holds the needle for when you pull back. So, right now, it's just constantly air coming out. And if I pull it back, bring it out, I could bring as much air as I want. And it's a double action. So, it's a push. Nothing comes out if you just pull back. You have to push down and pull. Hey, what do you think? And we got the cap that goes on. 
which is really good. You should use your cap. I don't know. I Sometimes I don't, but I think you should. So you know what? Let's get out of here. We're going to just fully blast it with white. Now I still have my other airbrush, which is going to be good because in the wintertime, my videos are going to slow down from carving to just being airbrushing. Um, I'm going to try to make my own stencils. Just play around with that stuff because we're in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. And I'm telling you, you're not going to see me out here in minus 40. <laughs> minus 30. Minus 20. You're not going to see me out here. That's It's cold. And it's insulated, but it's a cement floor. Not going to happen. Um, unfortunately, I wish I could get a shop. So I keep on making more videos. But like I said, I'll have all these things inside. So I'll have two air tanks, two guns going. One with one color, one with the other. Don't have to worry about, you know, waiting for me to mix in two colors. One color, one color, bang, bang, bang. I'm good to go. So, anyway, let's give it a try. So, we're going to add our white. Just enough to fill it up. Put our cap on. And then, well, let's give it a go. Well, that looks like white's coming out of it. I see it. Well, you guys probably don't see it. I see it. Um, if it's too much, then we'll just turn it down. Works. All right. So let's get our owl out and see what happens there. So like I said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fully blast him all white. And then we'll put some colors in it. So just an easy, easy covering. Now I find that it's a bit much. So I'm going to turn that down. There we go. And I find the tank is also a lot quieter on this one. So I did research on it and it did, it, it had the price of $300 plus, like that's with tax and shipping. So I guess the guy just didn't enjoy airbrushing or maybe he needed the cash. I don't know. I really don't care because I bought it. Right, so that's the way it works in the week. Well, I hope everybody's doing good this day. Um, I am feeling better. I did go for a deep massage, which is brutal. I actually fell asleep on the guy. That's how bad it was. He was like, this guy could put your elbow and his elbow and his uh, thumb so deep inside your back, like where he's popping knots out. It'd make you cry. I fell asleep. I don't know. He's he's really shocked by that because I'm the only person that when I go for massages falls asleep on. So let's get back to the story here. When we're doing airbrushing, we want to we just want to start off with coating it, right? So this way, this way we have a base coat going on, and not only that, the owl does tend to have a lot of white on him at times. It's not a snow owl. It's going to be more like a barn owl, I guess, in that, in that sense. You know, we'll see how that turns out. Oh, and that, that tells you you're running out of paint. Okay. All right. So the only thing I could do now. All right. So the next color we're going to go into is with a little bit of yellow. What I want to do is I just want to give it some yellow, uh, like texture kind of in there. And then I'll add like the darker colors. So. Now, you can see it's got yellow to it. So that's okay because that's gonna get covered with um, the darker color, which would be brown or, yeah, brown, and then just highlighting it with black. Uh, we don't wanna go too crazy um, with the yellow, but it is covered it quite nicely. Okay, so now we added some brown, okay? So we're just gonna bring it in lightly and start fading our color in. Now we're going to the black stage. So this is what's going to just darken it up. All right, and we're going to go back in with the white. And we're just going to try to get the belly. First the belly. And some white. All right, guys. So let's put a review on this Abest uh, airbrush system. Do I like it? Hell yeah. Why? 
It's called Big Tank. It worked out for me. I don't know if you can see that very well, but it worked out. I think it did well. The control on the pen, the gun, whatever you want to call it, a little hard to get used to, knowing how much pressure to put out, how much to keep. But all in all, I mean, I like it. It did my grayish white, blackish owl. A little bit of hinge, tinge of brown, or gray and brown, yeah. I don't know where the hell this thing's from. Uh, eBay or something, I can't remember what he got. Etsy, uh, eBay, I'm not sure. But I recommend it, why not? If you're a beginner like me, you could probably pick up, you know, a Pache and uh, an Iwata or whatever you want for about three, four hundred bucks itself. Uh, probably more. I don't remember what I paid for mine. I don't think I paid that much. Ouch. So, what I'm thinking is, it's a good machine. I got my owl painted. I got the rocks painted. Next will be the whole stick. Let's see what that comes out to. So, in the next video, we'll be doing the stick. I, like I said, there's going to be like five, six parts to this. I'm sure of it. I'm getting older. I'm starting to talk too much. All right, guys. So, again, you know what? If you want, you like it, you subscribe, you share it, you hit the little bell in the corner. It tells you if I'm sending out more videos. If you just want to watch, you watch. If you got something to say, let's do it. I'm, I'm ready. I want to hear it. I, I'll, I'll answer. I give a lot of thank yous on um, my post because a lot of it's just to do with uh, my, hey, thanks for, you know, you're looking good, better, whatever. I agree with that stuff. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Um, anyway, again, guys, thanks for watching. Choose your own path. Never forget that. If I can do it, you can do it. Stay tuned for the next video and uh, yeah, let me know what you think. All right, guys, have a good morning, guys. So, 6 a.m. in the morning, right on time. <laughs> Been up since, of course, four or five, whatever it is. Yay. All right, so we're going to continue from last night. And what we're going to do is we are going to continue with the stick the bottom part now um still not sure what i'm gonna do with the handle if i want to paint it or uh yeah probably something i don't know but there is a little touch up i want to do i find that there's a little bit too much black on my owl so we're gonna start off with a little bit of white anyway and all i want to do is touch that up a bit because it's just the lighting right remember i said the lighting that makes a big difference in your shop and plus when it dried, I could see it better. So so we're just going to open up our air. And we're going to get some white all the way through the stick. We had a lot of, <clears throat> a lot of yellow. We left, we had left over, which is fine. Because we're going to be using four diff or five different colors. We're going to use white, black, blue, um, uh, the Indian ink red, and some green today. Alright, so let's just go at it. Adding in some white. We're gonna try, it's it's gonna basically turn into like a almost like this color, like a black grayish color. And uh, just a couple of highlights, I guess you could say, because the blue and the green will definitely uh, pull out more color. All right. So now we added some green to our airbrush. We're gonna go in with a little bit of green and we're gonna go into the crack with it. Now bring out the blue. Okay, 
So now we're gonna go with we're gonna go with our Indian red. And that's just gonna tone down the green. Those little purple purple hinge. I said it before, if you got too much on like this, just dab it, right? That's all you want to do is just dab it off. Sometimes it comes out a little thin. A little thick, I should say. So, we are done. So we got our owl painted, we got the rocks, we just did with white, some black on the two lips and the edges there, and then we just went with a funky color. Now, this will definitely be different when we put the epoxy on it, but yeah, I don't know, I like it. You like it? You don't like it? I guess so. So, don't forget, guys. This is the end. This is the end of the video. The next will just be pictures of the epoxy on it because you don't need to see that. You've seen it a hundred times with me, right? Right. So, don't forget to watch the video. <laughs> no, like, subscribe, share, check out the cuts all. Um, with the code uh, RV Woodcraft in capital, check out my buddies at uh, Badass Wood and Carbon Fusion. Don't forget those guys. Uh, there's a bunch of other shoutouts we're going to be doing. Uh, Rock of Ages is another great guy. You know what? I'm going to put down a list. And I'm going to I'm going to read it because that's way easier. All right, guys. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Ooh, there's Dad in the back.